What do you want? I came to see Sonny. Well, he's not here. Fine. I'll wait. I don't think so. I do think so, Carly. All right, Missy, this is not your house. It is mine, and you don't get to barge in here demanding to speak to my husband. I am not leaving until I speak with Sonny. There's something I need to tell your husband, and I'm going to make sure he hears it. You all right? Yeah, oh yeah. You should... Alexis. Mm. Ale are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just dizzy. I just look dizzy. I got up too fast. I gotta go. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I've been, I've been thinking about things right now. I need, to, I need to talk to you about something. Do you have to do this right now? Well, I wouldn't have brought it up, but okay. um, you're, you know, the way I, you're yeah, feeling. Yeah, you know, so. I, I know. I'm, uh, I'm in a hurry, actually. Can I, I say one thing, please? It's about the big. I think you're pushing yourself too hard. Running all over town, you know, late for appointments. Showing up at the PCPD all hours of the day and night. Are you trying to pretend you're not pregnant? <laughs> I, I don't recall asking you for uh, your opinion about how I should handle my pregnancy. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Anyway. Well, I'm speaking from experience, you know, I mean, uh, you, you should really take that extra second to be careful. I know, I know what can happen, you know, a, a wrong turn, a, a misstep. When Carly and I lost our baby, I mean, I, I drove myself crazy with what ifs. You know, what if I didn't let her go to the quartermains that day, one second lived differently, and, and that baby would have been in my arms instead of. Never stop blaming yourself. You know. You never stop longing for the child. It should have been there. Don't do that to yourself. Or Ned. Take that extra second. Okay. Second. Okay. What business? Do you think you possibly have with my husband? None of yours. No, you're wrong. Sonny is my husband and therefore part of my life. And you know what? You need to stop butting into everyone else's. Who the hell are you to talk? Ever since you reappeared from the dead, all you have done is made people's lives miserable. What did you just Sonny was I... over you. He had moved on to Alexis, and then you reappear, and you put her in a position where she lied. You ruined her life. Well, you know what, Carly? Now me. I haven't made any bargains with anyone. Okay. Well, you know what's going to happen here? You have a choice. Either I'm going to call security, and I'm going to have them remove you, or you can tell me what it is you think Sonny needs to know, and I will decide whether or not to bother him with oh, it. Oh, bother him? Bother him? You bet your life it's going to bother him. Alexis is pregnant with Sonny's baby. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that's right, Mrs. Corinthos. Your husband got my sister pregnant, and I am going to tell him. <laughs> Not while I'm breathing. Felicia? I know Sonny is the father. I have known for weeks. When did you figure it out, 15 minutes ago? You know what, that's your problem. You were so excited about your detective work that you don't care that Alexis doesn't want Sonny to know. You don't have a clue what my sister wants. I know what she told me. Yeah, that's right. We discussed this baby. How ironic is this? You are ready to stab your sister in the back, and I am the one who is protecting her. Uh, you don't have to worry. And the baby is uppermost on my mind all the time. Prove it. Stop working so hard. Or at least slow down. Take that under advisement. I'm not criticizing, Alexis. I... You're going to make a great mother. That baby boy or girl. Very lucky. I'm gonna have a late supper with my sister. All right. See you later. Is Sunny
Honey, wait a minute. Um, there's something that I haven't told you, something that I want you to know. Don't give me this garbage that you're on Alexis's side. The only side that you're on, Carly, is your own. You don't want me telling Sonny that Alexis is carrying his baby because you know that Sonny would leave you. Sonny and I have worked out our problems. I want Sonny to know that this is his child. Alexis is the one who objects. Oh, right. You expect me to believe that you're keeping Alexis' secret hidden? Alexis, a woman that you hate. Out of the goodness of your own heart. You know what I am not going to do to Alexis what someone did to me? I was raising my son the way that I wanted, and then some self-righteous twit, a lot like you, decided to take it upon herself to tell the truth. Never mind the fact that it tore Michael's world apart, and it devastated everyone else involved. If you love your sister, you will discuss this with her, instead of just blabbing to son. You have no idea what love is. You don't even know what the word means. Every lie that my sister has told, every way that she's heard, everyone around her, including me and herself, is because of you, Carly. Alexis lies just fine on her own. She is the liar. She did everything she could to break up my marriage and seduce Sonny, and she got him in bed for one night, and she got herself pregnant. If you have a problem with that fallout, you take it up with her. Alexis wanted to tell Sonny. She wrote him a letter telling him the truth. But she couldn't go through with it. What does that tell you? It tells me that I have to say the truth for her. I'm going to find Sonny. I'm going to tell him he's the father if I have to search all night for him. You're a dangerous man with a dangerous life, which I no longer want to be a part of. But the time that I've spent as your lawyer and as your friend I don't consider a waste. In fact, you've given me something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And that would be? A new un understanding. And I'll always be grateful for that. Excuse me. A new understanding of what, Alexis? Ale Johnny. Okay, bring the car around. I need to stop at the warehouse. I'm on my way home. Alexis Davis. Christine is on a mission to inform my husband that he is the father of your child. What? Yeah, she read your confession, the one that you wrote, and you didn't quite burn. So she stormed in here looking for Sonny to tell him everything. And then when she realized he wasn't here, decided she was going to scour the city to find him. Right, I'm meeting her for dinner, and I'll, I'll talk to her. She's not going to show up for dinner. She's going to find Sonny and tell him everything that she knows. I've done everything that I can to fix this. Now it's up to you. Fix what? What's going on? Hey, Robin. Hey, boss. Sonny. Sonny, can I talk to you for a minute, please? You all right? No. No, I, I'm, I'm almost all packed and ready to go, but how do you pack a life? Where are you going? With Xander. Jason, explain how Xander has to leave town tonight. That's what Jason told you, that Xander had to leave town? Jason told you, uh, Xander had to leave town? 
And you're going with him? Jason wants me to. He thinks I'll be safer. Oh, he has a point. I don't want to go. I just want Xander safe. You can make that happen. Xander's made some bad choices. He knew there's going to be consequences. Get to live with him. Sonny, he's important to me. He used to mean something to you, too. Look, I know he has a temper and he acts before he thinks, but he's I've really warned, I've warned Xander so many times. He, unfortunately, he does not get it. Okay. And Sonny, there's nothing more me, I can do about that. Please, please, if you give me a chance. I, I, listen, I swear. If you let Xander stay in Port Charles, he will never cross you again. I'll leave with him if I have to. But do I really have to? Give up my whole life. Give up your life or give up Jason? Jason's part of my life. Does that answer your question? No, the question is, does it answer yours? If Xander slips up one more time, I will treat him like anybody else. No special consideration. I'm going to give him one more chance. After that, all bets are off. I, I don't want to hurt Xander, but he's pushed me to the wall. He needs to stay clear of me and my business. I will tell him. I'll tell him. And he needs to stop working for DeLuca. Now, you tell him that. Okay, I will, and he will. I'll make sure of it. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you. Have you seen Sonny? Uh, he should be here soon. We have a meeting. You know he could have walked in on you instead of me. What are you fixing now, Carly? Nothing. It's personal. Oh, okay. It's personal. So uh, you don't want to tell me? That's fine. But if it's something Sonny needs to know... You know what? You I will deal with it, okay? Because he, he is my his... husband. And if I think he needs to know something, he will hear it from me. Unless you're going to stand around here so you can be the honesty police and tell Sonny the minute he walks in the door that you walked in on a conversation that you know nothing about and you're jumping to a conclusion that Carly's up to something sneaky. Okay, you know what? Of course she is, because no one else in this town lies to Sonny except me. Just untrustworthy okay, Carly. Okay, I'm not in charge of what you tell Sonny. You are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So don't worry about it. But, hold on. I'm not going to keep another secret from him because of you. I've gone as far against Sonny as I'm going to. What are you talking about, Jason? <sighs> Never mind. No, this is important, yeah, you Jason. Know what? What? It is important. Because I was given an order, and I didn't do it. And I saved somebody I hate. And now I'm going to have to tell Sonny what I did and why. I have no idea why you tell so many lies, Carly. Because it just blows up in your face and now you're stuck in the same situation that I am. You have to go to someone and tell them what you did and, and make them wonder why they ever trusted you in the first place. Chase, of course Sonny trusts he you. He trusts you, you are... too, and that's my point. Don't make him wrong. Whatever you're hiding, tell Sonny now. Between out and out lying and holding something oh, back. Come on. There is Jason. Look, you don't lie, okay? But you let everyone believe that Michael was your son because I asked you to. You even put your name on I, the birth no, certificate. Hold on. How did this get to be about Michael? This is about you and Sonny, and you know what happens when you hold back on him. Keep in. Is everything all right? Yeah, I was starting to worry. You didn't call me. Yeah, I know. Last minute problems came. Sorry. I, I, need, I need to speak to Jason a moment. I, uh, I told Xander to leave town. I know. Elizabeth came to see me. Why? I tried to change my mind. I guess she had the impression that I ordered you to get Xander mm -hmm. out of town. Well, that's, that's what I came to tell you. I told her. You know, why would you give Xander the option to leave on his own when you hate him? All that matters is he goes. You saved them for Elizabeth. Yeah, I... Okay. Um... 
um, she wanted me to give him a, a second chance. She said she would, she would keep him out of trouble. What'd you say? I agreed. But I tell you right now, Xander slips up one more time. There are no warnings, no travel suggestions, no reprieves. And the next time I tell you to make him vanish, do not get creative on me. I understand. Yeah, I know you do. Sonny, you did, you did a good thing. You did a generous thing. Well, I don't know, you know. I don't know about good things. Generous, yeah. Extremely generous. But you need to know. I didn't do it for Elizabeth. I only did it for you. Did something happen today? Something happens every day, and lately Roy DeLuca's involved. I got a feeling. I got a feeling about something. You need to hear me. All right, tell me. I don't want you going anywhere, you or Michael, without a guard. Okay. I don't want you opening that door unless you know who's on the other side. If you hear anything, you call me immediately. If, if you get any weird calls, you call me immediately. If you walk out the door, the guard's not there. You come back in, you lock the door, and you call me immediately, okay? Okay, okay. 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 I know things are dangerous right now. Okay. They're not going to get any better, okay? As a matter of fact, they're probably going to get worse for a while. It's okay. All right. Come here. Did a woman go in there? Yeah, said she had an appointment. Remember what I said, you be careful. I'm not afraid for me, okay? It's you I'm worried about. What, you think I can't look out for myself? I think you're smart. And you're strong, and over the years, you have been incredibly lucky. Luck runs out, that's why you have to know how to protect what's yours, and I do. The way to hurt me is through the people that I love. That's why you and my... Please, hold up. just blew up.
Well, it was Jason there. Is he okay? We aren't sure. Jason probably wasn't wasn't there. Now you made sure of that, didn't you, Sonny? Got everyone out of the building before the bomb went off. Wait, well, you think Sonny blew up his own warehouse? We're going downtown. For what? I've got some questions for Mr. Corinthos. Call my attorney. I'm not answering them. Oh, would that be Alexis? It's hard to keep straight these days. Look, my husband's place of business just blew up. Do you think he has time for this? Why don't you care about the people who may be hurt? Paramedics are on their way down there. My job is to find out why this happened. It'll be easier if you came down down now. Well, Sonny didn't have anything to do with this. I need to be at the warehouse, Mac. Not at the police station. Here's the deal, Sonny. Come downtown now. It'll be easier for everyone later on. You're aware there's, there's a harassment suit pending? I'll You're take that? that risk. You will? Yeah. Come on, let's go. What are you... Get out of here. Are you going Call Jason. Call Jason. I'm so glad you're all right. Do not go to the warehouse, okay? There's been an explosion or something. Just stay away. Do not go to the warehouse. Call him. Oh. Hello. Where's Sonny? Oh, Jason, I've been trying to reach you forever. Is he in the warehouse? No, are you all right? Is he with you right now? Jason, are you all right? Yes. Are you at the warehouse? What's left of it? Where is Sonny? They, they took him down to the police station. Is Christina all right? How'd you, how'd you know Christina was here? Is she all right? She was inside when the bomb went off. Oh, my God. She looks real bad. They're going to take her to the hospital. See Corinthos, here he is. I'll be glad to cooperate, gentlemen. Have a seat. Thank you, Commissioner. He's all yours. So, uh, who blew up the warehouse? For all we know, you did it yourself. Like I kidnapped my wife? Listen, wise guy. You think that you're above the law. Well, you're not. I'm just an ordinary citizen trying to run a business. Now, what you are is a two-bit thug who's had run of this city for way too long. Well, that's over as of now. How do you end up this attorney? You're not showing much talent for it. Shut up! I'm asking the questions here. I got you in here, didn't I? I came in on my own free will, Scotty. So, like I said, I'll help out any way I can. What do you mean? Why did you blow up the warehouse? Is it because of the turf war? Turf war? You mean like the old gangster movies? Was it for the insurance? My warehouse was already shut down. And I, I, I know a, a couple of beans were contaminated. The insurance checks are already in the mail. Why, 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 would, why, would, why would I blow up my place? Well, let's see. Maybe you wanted to set up uh, Lloyd DeLuca, you know, uh, get him off the prison, get him out of your way. You like to get rid of people that are in your way. Be sure to notify me as soon as you find any evidence on Lloyd DeLuca. I want him prosecuted to the furthest extent of the law. Now, if you excuse me, I think we're done here. I'm going, uh, no, 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 no. What do you, we're not done. Not so fast here. My lawyer will contact you, Scotty. We're through here. No, I will tell you when we are through here. I'm not under arrest, am I? Think you're gonna roll over me like you do everybody else? The last time I was district attorney in this town here, I put a lot of thugs away, and I especially hate you for what you did to my daughter, turning her into a stripper. Now, the whole waterfront's a war zone. Don't ever touch me like that again. I can do anything I want. You know, we have something in common. I don't play by the rules either. 
I will do whatever it takes to put you away. I will frame you. I will fabricate evidence. I will set up illegal surveillance, wiretaps, anything. Do you think I dragged you in because the coffee bean warehouse blew up? I'm coming after you for murder. If you have any more questions, I'll ask my attorney to call. Oh, you mean Alexis? Well, she's a little busy right now. See, her sister was in the warehouse when it exploded. She's in bad shape. She may not make it through the night. Sorry to hear that. Well, if she dies, I'm charging you with murder. You can try. You probably didn't know Christina was anywhere near that warehouse. It wasn't part of the plan, was it? There was no plan. She got mixed up in somebody else's fight. Turf war. Call it whatever you want. But an innocent girl may die because of you. And that sickens me. You probably didn't even get around to sleeping with her, did you? Oh, maybe I'm not the only one that's uh, coming after you. Maybe there's someone else who's not afraid of you, who's got some real power, wants to get rid of you. So maybe you tell me who it is. We can work together. Or I'll just come after you myself. Anytime. Get out of here. Hey, Scotty. Enjoy your new job. Alexis. sister to that warehouse. Why are you saying that? I was you trying to stay out of her. Alexis, think. You're telling me to think? You know, I'm gonna get you a glass of water. Any excuse to hide what you did. Pressure's dropping. Almost there. All I did was call you the second Christina walked out of the house. I wanted to let you know she you was sent my sister son. to the warehouse. No, I didn't. Because that way she would never be able to tell. I wanted Sonny to know, don't you remember? That's what you said. You set me up. She's arresting. Any you sense. want my sister to die? Alexis, calm down. You sent my sister to Alexis, die. Alexis, stop. You're going to hurt Sonny's baby. Oh, my baby. And don't you ever forget that. <laughs> Alexis, somebody. Somebody. Hey. You want my sister to die? Alexis, calm down. That way she'll never be able to tell. Before you hit Sonny's baby. It's my baby. Don't you ever forget that. Uh, Alexis, Alexis, somebody! Somebody! My baby. Hey, help! Get on me. Can somebody come in? We, we need a doctor. She's pregnant. Alexis, breathe, breathe. Alexis, okay, Alexis, oxygen. get back. Will you? Alexis, right. what is it? Something's wrong, Ellen. All right, just take it easy. Just try and breathe. Who's your doctor? Dr. Meadows. All right, come on. Get Meadows into cubicle one. Dr. Kress, please call pediatrics. Dr. Kress, please call Christina pediatrics. was an explosion. You know that? Told me, yeah. How is she? I don't know. Why did she... Why did she come looking for me in the warehouse, not, not in the penthouse? She did. I was with her. I was sleeping for you. When? This evening. I told her you weren't there, and then she, she went to look for you. At the warehouse? I guess she thought it was the next logical place to find you. What did she want? Well, she thinks that you and Alexis had a future, and that I ruined it by coming back. And she blames me for 
Not going back to Alexis. Well, she blames both of us. She came to me to, to tell me I should do the right thing and stay with Alexis. Well, she's upset. I mean, who blames her? And every day it's in her face that another woman's pregnant by the man she loves. She still does not explain why she came to see me, Carly. Sonny, maybe she was angry, okay? And she just needed someone to take it out on. I gotta go ask Christina, okay? I need to... I need to get some answers. I'll be right back. Carly, if I were you, I would get out of my way. Look, Sonny wants to know what Christina wanted with him. He's looking for her right now. I tried to stop him, but You I... were looking out for yourself, not me, not my sister, yourself. Like always. It's not why I... I when was the last not... time you ever said or did anything that wasn't about you, Carly? Alexis, the operation is over. Christina's in the ICU. You me Ned's with her, I will. Thank you. Please call audiovisual services. I don't mean to interrupt. Christina. I'm sorry. at the warehouse did you want to tell me something Carly what are you doing here I came to check on Christina why Came to the penthouse i sent her away and then she went to the warehouse this is not your fault look christina could be dying okay alexis practically lost her baby in front of me everything is spinning out of control and i don't know how to stop this stop what you i don't know what Tell to me, do Carly. jason you need to help me because i need to figure this one out this is what you were upset about before isn't it you tell me what you know about this christina wanted to see me I think it was urgent. Christina? Is there anything you wanted to tell me? We need some help in here. Come on. Come on, Christina. Christina, play She's it. arrested. Just what? She, she, Put, Jamie? What? Oh, my God. Check the lead placement. Bag her. Grab Christina. Christina. You're going to have to wait outside. I, 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 I need to wait outside. Please, just give us this. Christina, please, I promised her that I would take care of her. There's no pulse, Monica. 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 Christina, please. I don't want her to be alone. Please don't make me come up here. One milligram epinephrine, IV push. Oh, not happening. One milligram atropine. She's still in asystole. All right, three more milligrams, Epi. She's not coming back. Okay, people, let's call it. I'm sorry.
promise that you're gonna help me, Jason. What did you do? It's my fault, Christina. It was at the warehouse. It's all my fault. How, how is that your fault? Christina's heart failed. We couldn't save her. But at least Alexis and Ned were with her and, and Sunny, too. I gotta go. I'll, I'll come back. Yeah. Oh, my God, I have to sit down. Okay, it's okay. Oh, they're gonna blame me, Jason. Hold on. They're hold gonna on, blame me for on, this. Hold on. You just tell me. Just tell me what happened, okay? Christina came to the penthouse. She was looking for Sonny, and I told her that... I told her that he wasn't there. She said she needed to find him, she needed to look for him, and so she obviously went to the warehouse, and Alexis blames me for the bomb going off while she was there. Karen, it's ridiculous. You did not know about the bomb. No, I didn't, but you know what? I could have kept her from leaving. No, Sonny's not gonna blame you either. He won't. Oh my God. What if Sonny had been there with Christina? The bomb was intended for him. Sonny is safe. And I promise you, he's gonna stay that way. I will find out who did this. She said you be careful. Because they're obviously looking for you too. Mr. Cates, please. Come on. I'm gonna take you home. You know what, I can't, um, I have to find Sonny. Dr. Chris, please call pediatrics. Dr. Chris, please call pediatrics. Give Ned a minute and I'll, I'll see that you get in there. You'll see that I get in to see my sister. Thank you, because I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know what anyone would do without you seeing to everything. I mean, that's what you do. You are the all-knowing, almighty, all-powerful mobster. Do you even care that you're poisoned? That anyone that goes near you is risking their life? You have every right to be upset. Don't you tell me what I have a right to feel or not to feel. You don't know what I'm feeling. You don't know what I'm feeling. And you don't care how I feel. You don't care how anyone feels. Women die, and you don't even notice. You just put the past behind you, and you go on about your life. You don't make any effort to change. You don't take any steps to protect the people around you. A vibrant, beautiful woman just died in there. For no reason other than she went to the warehouse to speak to you. Someone tried to kill you, and my sister lost her life instead. Isn't that what happened to your first wife? Why couldn't it ever be you? You. Why are you lying under a white sheet in the ICU? Don't do this. Don't do this. No. <laughs> no, really. Please. Turn around. Seriously. Look at him. He's not even reacting. He doesn't even react. You know why? Because he's used to this. This is par for the course. No, really. Seriously. Look at, baby, okay? he, look at him. Look at him. No, seriously. Watch him. He, he's not even reacting. Come on. He doesn't care. <laughs> speak to Christina before she um... Uh, yeah, um, I asked her why she was looking for me. And? Then I asked her, um, if 
if she had anything to tell me, she said not anymore. Alexis is right. Alexis was hysterical. Okay, you know something? Let's not fool anybody here. Christina is dead because of me. Okay, you listen to me. No, I'm listen, telling you. You listen what do you to want me. To do? What do you want? Okay. Just, it's all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know what? What happened today? It was terrible. It was an accident. Alexis just lost her sister, and I feel bad for her. But you know what? I'm not letting you do this to yourself, Sonny. I'm not. You cheated death. So have I. And you know, maybe it's some sort of sign. What kind of sign? It's a sign that we are supposed kind? to live and we are supposed to be happy. Sonny, you think you're not worthy. And you are. You are so worthy. You are. Look at me. You look at me. You deserve so much. You deserve a family and a wife and love and friendship. You deserve it all. And I will spend the rest of my life giving that to you. You are worthy. Come here. No, no, we'll be fine. But the last time Alexis saw you, she wished you dead. Don't you think that's reason enough not to uh, yes. be here? I'd say so. I don't think this is really the right place for you, Corinthos. I'd really like you both to leave before Alexis gets here. Okay, Ned. I'm not comfortable being here, but Alexis invited me, so... That is highly unlikely. Even if it was true, that doesn't mean you have to come here. Excuse me. No. Mm -hmm. Has Alexis arrived yet? <clears throat> what the hell is going on? Be rude, but what are you doing here? Alexis invited me. Why? I don't know. Let me guess. Alexis invited you. Get out, all of you. Let's not make a big scene. We came here to pay respects. Christina's dead because you blew up his warehouse and you torched his pier. And what part of that involves respect? I talked to Alexis. She called me. Alexis is distraught. You know that, son. She's not thinking clearly. What if we all left now and made a huge donation to the hospital? Actually, I think it'd be better if we stayed. Now, Corinthos, what would it take to uh, get you out of here? What would it take? How about more than you got? Hi. I'm so glad to see all of you. Thank you for helping me commemorate my sister's murder. Hi, you look uh, really handsome, by the way. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually holding up really well. Did you invite these guys? Yes, I did. Well, please, let me uninvite them. And ruin my sister's funeral. Absolutely not. Excuse me. I hope you do. So does she want us to stay? Unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do? Improve your taste in boyfriends? I didn't set that bomb. Even if it's true, you're still responsible. I'm just trying to make things better on the waterfront. Really? Mm hmm By deliberately provoking Sonny Corinthos. The pier was for sale, Ned. I bought it. My family has been eyeing Pier 52 for years. Everyone knew Sonny wanted it. Everyone left it alone. I had the right to develop that property. <gasps> the Quartermains have been doing business on the waterfront while you were still wiping tables at the campus disco. We're just a partnership doing business on the waterfront. That's it. Well, then you better learn how to deal with Sonny. I don't like it. It's no fun. But it's how things are done down there. Unless, of course, <laughs> you're a criminal. I haven't done anything wrong, pal. You're here now, aren't you? You think it's a setup? I don't know. Be careful. I wouldn't put it past Baldwin to have a tape recorder in his pocket. Well, keep that in mind. Roy's crazy for showing up here. 
Even if he didn't set the bomb, he knows who did. Roy's in so deep. He don't even know he's drowning. Hey, um, sorry. Are you sure you want to stay with Scott here and everything? Carly, do not say anything to him. Well, Lex has invited me, Carly. I don't know what else I can do here. You know? I was just asking. God, look at her over there. I thought this would be a nice place to have... <clears throat> to remember my sister because she loved flowers. Uh, in particular, she, she loved hydrangeas. And as you can see, there are a lot of hydrangeas here. Would someone like to speak? Christina just spent years looking for Alexis. I'm glad that I was able to help, but I'm sure she would have found you with or without my assistance. That's the kind of person she was. She always went after the biggest, most improbable dreams. Uh, Christina could be maddening at times. None of us ever had the vaguest idea what she was going to do next. But she loved her big sister. She admired you, Alexis. She wanted to be like you. Christina lived life on her own terms. That's something we can all appreciate. And we should all be grateful that she was a part of our lives, if only for a little while. Christina never turned her back on being a Cassidy. Although we weren't very close, I do know that she wanted to end the hatred and the violence. It is ironic that she was taken from us by violence. She wandered into the wrong warehouse on the wrong night. And now she's gone. The night I met Christina, she called me a suit. That was the last thing I wanted to hear. Not that it mattered, because she was a young woman who was not afraid to speak her mind. From the moment she uh, walked into my life and started moving furniture around, she made me see the world from a different angle. A world where she believed to live every day to its fullest and she expected everyone to do the same all she wanted was to share her life with her friends her family and with me but that will never happen gave me this necklace and my father gave it to her and she had it made into two different necklaces one she had made for me and one she had made for my sister and I'm now uh, wearing both of them my sister and I were separated when I was very young. <clears throat> when I was very young and I wasn't I didn't think that I would ever be able to find her. In fact, I thought that it was impossible, but she didn't. She doesn't think anything's impossible. It never occurred to her that, that she wouldn't find me, and she did, because she is the eternal optimist. Was, she was the eternal optimist. She brought hope into my life, where I tend to always have regret. She thought that we should create new memories instead of mourning the old ones because that's my sister that's the kind of woman that she is was that's i've 
I made a conscious decision not to wear the color of my mourning today, but instead to wear the color of my anger at the injustice of my sister's death and the rage that I feel for three of our invited guests, Roy Luca, Jason Morgan, and Sonny Corinthos, who happen to be wearing red as well. And if you look closely, they have my sister's blood on their hands. There you are. Everybody. Ba, ba, black sheep. Don't expect him to sing. He barely speaks. He's the silent son who walked away from his family who still so desperately loves him. You know, I bought your routine, Jason, I did. I bought it for a long time, which is why I used my considerable legal skills to keep you out of prison so many times, but... You want us all to believe that you do what you do to protect the, the poor and the, the unfortunate and the misunderstood. But in truth, you're a common thug who would do anything to protect his boss. You're a puppet. You're an errand boy. You're a shadow. You're nothing. And you think nothing of going after anyone who's weaker than you, less experienced than you. Caught off guard or preferably standing near the end of the dock in the dead of night. Jason Morgan, professional. Strictly taking orders from his boss, Sonny Corinthos. You must be so proud of your right-hand boy. I think it's almost like family, isn't it? And we all know what family means to you. Okay, someone needs to stop this be right quiet. now. Thank you, Ned. Thank you. I'm afraid that we haven't made our Sonny very happy. But not to worry. No one ever has. But many have died trying. Do you think you're the only person who understands family? My family, the Cassidines, was staging deadly vendettas while your ancestors were working our fields with the other peasants. I could, in the honor of my family tradition, declare revenge on you. I could place a curse on you. I could vow to make you pay. But that would be redundant. And it certainly wouldn't be necessary at all because you are already cursed. Seriously, I almost lost my life twice simply because I was just standing too close to him. But I survived. Unlike your mother. Or Lily. Or her humble child. Or Brenda. Or your unborn child. Carly. When you lie down next to him at night, don't you ever wonder if you're going to wake up? Because one day you won't. Or you, or you, you will all fall dead with honor at the feet of Sonny Corinthos. But guess what? He will never fall. That's his crowning achievement. Everybody dies around him, yet he is the one that always lives. I mean, really, isn't it amazing? Extraordinary! I mean, it's just unbelievable. It is so unbelievable that I feel compelled to give you a prize. So here, take it. You killed her. You burned it. Put it on your mantle and remember what you've done and who's paid the price. Take it. Jack seems very nervous and distraught. Well, he really cared about Christina. Now is your time to break into that safe and get me that oil side map. And nothing less from the soul quarter main air. Hmm? Okay. Alexa said what she needed to say. Why didn't you stop her? It's time for everyone to leave now. How could you Please. let her get so upset? Ed. It's time for everyone to go. Let Why didn't you make her sit down? She's the mother of your child, you're the father. Do what you gotta do, man. Well, maybe I'm not a very good one. But at least there's not a body count. <laughs> this service is over. If you respect my family's need to mourn in privacy, I have to ask you to leave. No, we're finished.
believes you set off the bomb. Nice right? <laughs> what do you want? Jason will sh show you to your car. No, I'm I'm fine. We, we have business we have to discuss. We're business partners. What you say to him, you can say to me, too. I need to know your backer is, right. I can't help you. I may be able to stop him. Alexis was right. Innocent people do get hurt in this business. I'm not afraid. So he's a, that means he's a... Really Sonny, if I, if I want you in on this, I'll let you know. You cannot stop him, Roy. I can. Anybody else dies, it's on your head. Excuse us. Felicia, can you at least do me one favor? Be careful. I dropped you off at the cottage. Why had Johnny bring me back? You should not be here. Why not? Because it's, it's too dangerous. You know. Alexis is feeling guilty and she's taking it out on you, honey. That's what, what it is. Hey, listen to me. What? What Alexis said was right. No, We're it's not. We're not trying to... No, What do you mean, not. no? I don't want to... I'm not going there. No, right? that's right. You know, come on, sit down. Come here. Come on. Oh. I love you. And we need each other, and I'm, I'm not letting you go there. Sleep either? I was sleeping like a baby until I snuggled over to your side of the bed and found it was empty. The storm's getting worse. I, I should probably get you home. Okay, if the cottage is home, where am I right now? Michael's gonna be getting up and he's gonna wonder. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pack up and go home, pack up the cottage, and um, get Michael and bring him back right here with us where he belongs. No. No. You and I are doing great. Come on. Yeah, better than ever. Mm, so is Michael. He's got two loving parents, a house with a yard. Why mess with a good thing? You've been standing here obsessing over what Alexis said. Uh, no, not really. Sunny, she was grieving over her sister, her loss, and, and she's taking it out on this everybody. Is, this is not about Alexis. This is about the truth. No, she wanted to upset you. God, and she did. She knew exactly what to say. She played on your fears of, of your losses and your guilt, and she dangled your fears of our security right in front of your face. This is my reality. I live a dangerous life. I chose it. I can protect my back because I've spent my whole life learning how to survive. But now I have you and Michael to protect. Okay, so what are you so, going to do? You're going gonna to us, keep us in a cottage and then take us out when things are clear and then throw us right back in the well, If that's the way sticky? it has to work, that's the no, way it has no to way. work. No, no way. No. I am not risking my family. What do Corinthos and Jasper do? I promised I'd keep Michael safe. What did you have? Safe means away from me. Sonny, you were wrong. An innocent woman died in my warehouse. It was an accident. What if it had been Michael instead of Christina? It wasn't. I, my family is where I'm most vulnerable. My enemies know that. Yes, and that is why you do everything you do to keep us safe. Yeah? yeah. Well, I try to keep Lily safe. Look how well that worked. 
Now it's Christina. What if it had been you walking into that warehouse? I can't protect you. Not really. And I can't promise anybody that I love that they're going to be safe. Okay. I see. So it all... It all adds up to a curse, just like Alexis. If that's what you want to call it, go ahead and you know call it that. You know what a curse is, Sonny? You want to know what it is? What? It is when somebody takes your deepest and your darkest fears, and they turn that into a weapon that then you can use against yourself. She didn't make this stuff up. I can't, you know what? I can't promise that I can keep anybody safe. That's the bottom line of this whole thing. And I don't want to lose you and Michael, too. I knew who you were when I decided to let you adopt Michael. I knew, knew the life you led. I knew, knew the dangers that you faced. I cannot take that risk. And I knew how much you loved us. Okay, and how you'd do anything for us. How you'd walk through fire for us. How responsible you are. That's why I can't have you and Michael living under my roof. Sonny, we are safest here. The danger is escalating. Do you understand that? Don't you know that we are safest? Right here with you. You know that's true. Your enemies know who I am. They know who Michael is. What do you think? That we're going to be invisible if we live across town? Okay, if it gets worse, I'll send you and Michael out of the country. This is where we need to be. And you know what? Some terrible things and I have messed up so much in my life and somehow God blessed me with this beautiful little boy do you think that I would I would bring him home to you if I thought you were cursed Sonny I'm not stupid I'm not deluded or naive I just know that my son is safest right here with you Yes, we are. So how long are we going to get to stay this time? Uh, well, like you said, you're home. That means you're staying. Forever? Well, the, that's the plan, right? We're family, so that means that uh, we're going to start living like one. If we're a real family, how come I don't get to call you daddy? Well, because... You know what? I'm your father, right? And I'm going to always be your father. So that means you can get to call me whatever you like. Except for Bozo, Pumpkinhead, and Bigfoot. Yeah, don't call me those, please. But anything else you want to call me, you can, okay? I like Daddy. Yeah, I like Daddy, too. <laughs> So good at making your choo choo noise. Well, Michael asked me to. What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah. You were having just as much fun as he was in it. Admit it now. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to admit. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's nice having you and Michael home. Okay, you can thank me now. Can I? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For knowing you better than you know yourself. Well. I don't think I'd go that far. Okay, and you can also thank me for giving you exactly what you need. Yeah. Mm hmm. And for being your soulmate. Soulmate? That's nice.
like that. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right, you know, we need to get going soon because knowing Luke and Laura, they're going to start the wedding early just to make me late. How are things coming along? Oh, see for yourself. Daddy's teaching me how to tie my tie. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. You want to come with us to a wedding? No, thank you. <laughs> Hey, all right, why don't we go upstairs and get those socks and shoes on ya? So you, you uh, think you can manage to break in at the Port Charles Hotel? Roy is renting the penthouse Jacks used to live in. Get in, see what you can find out. How do we look? You look gorgeous. Yeah? yeah. Oh, thanks. So so you, were le you were less nervous at your own wedding. You know, I don't know why my mother insisted that Luke and Laura invite us to this. The Spencers are your family. Yeah, which is something Luke bitterly regrets. And you know what? My mom already told me she's taking Scotty as her date, so he'll probably be harassing you the whole time. I will handle him. Okay. Max Torpio. You know what, um, we're on our way out. We're going to a wedding. You might want your wife and her son to go ahead. Well, we'll be waiting when you're finished questioning the wrong guy. Come on, Michael. The forensics report on the explosion in your warehouse came in. The, uh, bomb was set off by a remote detonator which probably means whoever triggered the explosion was watching the building and knew you weren't inside. So this was a warning. Thanks for the update. So far, an innocent woman has been killed. One of your shipments was sabotaged. Elizabeth Weber has been kidnapped, and one of your warehouses has been destroyed. Someone has it in for you, Sonny. Who? And well, I didn't expect you to answer, but I wanted to be able to write down the police made an effort and asked. Carly and Michael are back in your life. How soon before they end up like Christina Cassidyne? If you're telling yourself you can keep your family safe, you're not looking at the facts. Bobby Spencer's a friend of mine. I don't want to bring her bad news about her daughter or grandson. Look, if you need my help, you know where to reach me. Mac. Nobody's going to touch my family. And if they try, they're going to wish they had. So Max gone? Yep. Waste of time, and we're late. Let's go. Actually, we're not. My uh, mom called, and she said that Luke and Laura decided to skip the wedding. They eloped. What's Aww. that? Um, well, eloping is when instead of having a big wedding and inviting a whole bunch of people, uh, the bride and groom decide that they're just going to get a priest and promise to love each other. Like you and Daddy? What? Kind of, but your dad has given me three very nice, but small weddings. How can you keep getting married? Well, you see, getting married means like making a promise that you always love each other. And Mama has to hear that um, more than once. Oh, oh I do, me? <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know what the good news is? Since Luke and Laura are having a wedding, you don't, you, you don't have to wear that tie. Okay, so why don't you go upstairs and have uh, Leticia change your clothes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay, so it's me. I'm the one who needed the weddings, mister. Our marriage isn't real until we've set our vows in front of a priest. What you doing with our son, huh? Hmm? What's that? Yeah. Your father and A.J. Cornerman. Mm -hmm. your help. Courtney didn't come home last night. We need to find her. You go away. He's a liar. He shot me and mommy in the 
plug and he said he was my dad, but you won. this man upset you. Don't ever listen to what he says. I'm your father. She's your mother, okay? If he ever does anything like this again, you let me know, okay? Okay, come on, let's get upstairs. Then Leticia help you with your tie? No. again, AJ. Why? What do I have to do? I'm not gonna do this with you right now, okay? I'm worried about my wife, Sonny. Okay? She's missing. She hasn't called, which isn't like her. We need your help, man. Look, coming here, Sonny, coming here was my idea. We got nowhere with the cops. And I thought you might be concerned enough about your sister to try to do something. I've done everything I could with this guy. I've tried to keep her away from him. She doesn't listen. Look, this isn't about me! Keep your voice down. This isn't about me. Sonny, this isn't about me, okay? Courtney and I, we are in a great place. I swear to you, okay? Look, we had plans last night, which she made. She was excited about it. But she never came home from work. Maybe she's come to her senses and realized that she married a lying piece of garbage. Or maybe whoever blew up your warehouse didn't get your, your attention, decided to grab your sister because they knew you would care. Sonny, you really think this is what I wanted to do? You know how bad the situation's got to be for me to come here and ask you for help? My wife is in trouble. Maybe, maybe it's about you, about your enemies, maybe it's not. I don't know. I just... Bottom line is, will you help me or not? All right. Hello. AJ, it's me. Oh, Courtney. Hey, look, I, I just got home. I'm okay. I, I, I know you must have been worried. Don't move. You stay right there. I love you. Okay. She's okay, Mike. She's okay. Are, are you coming? No, no, you go ahead and just give Courtney my love. Thank you All for right. your help, okay? Right. Uh-oh. You and AJ are buddies? It was about time you gave Courtney and AJ a break. Or, uh, don't you need to worry about how many enemies you keep in this world? AJ has brought Courtney nothing but misery, Mike. Your sister disagrees. She's afraid to admit she made a mistake. Courtney loves AJ and he loves her back. Do not defend AJ Quartermain to me. After what he's done? Come on, Mike. Love can change people for the better. It's been known to happen. And if you weren't so unforgiving, you could be receiving some of that love yourself. Isn't it time that you just let go of this grudge you're intent on caring and reconcile with your sister? Okay, Mike. How, how can you ask either of us to forgive AJ and accept him? All he's done is hurt me and Sonny over and over again. AJ is trying to make a fresh start with oh, Courtney. Oh, please! Mike, he's just gonna crash and burn like he always has and he's going to bring Courtney down with him. You know what? You should be trying to get her away from him. Look, I am tired of fighting. I want peace. Why don't you? You're so desperate to have Courtney love you. You're willing to support a relationship even when you know that he's going to hurt her. You're right. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I want my mm. daughter's love just like I wanted my son's love. But I'm starting to think that's never going to happen. And that is a shame. That is devastating. But I won't distance myself from Courtney or her husband trying to please you. No, I missed most of Courtney's life, and that is my fault. But I'm not going to miss anymore. How uh, you can be a part of both of our lives or not, that's your choice. Oh, by the way, yesterday was your sister's birthday.
hate what AJ's done to both of us. I know. If you know, why didn't you tell me what he tried to pull with Michael in the park? Look, I knew he would be furious about AJ approaching Michael. Nothing came of it, so I just let it go. Michael was upset. He held on to it. That's what came of it. Yeah, but he seemed fine, even on the day that we were You have to tell home. me when anything happens. Anything. Okay, this is not just AJ. What's, what's happening? There's too much going on out there and I, I, for you to keep any secrets from me. What? Sorry to interrupt. Just can't wait. Obviously, I'm not supposed to keep, so, um... You can keep all the secrets you want. Well, I can't have any. I love you. He has some sort of surveillance photos of a meeting. Yeah. You ever seen him before? No. But Roy had a file on him. All right. Okay. I didn't take everything, but there's enough in there for Benny to start running a trace. Luis Alcazar. I never heard of him. Seems like I would recognize somebody who's going to this much trouble to get rid of me. Well, uh, we just gotta stop him before he makes his next move. What are you doing here? I've been summoned by Alexis. Thank you for coming, Kai. What do you want? Just one last thing. And then if we're both very fortunate, we won't have to speak to each other again. That works for me. Uh, I just, I need to talk to Courtney. Can you send her out, please? Oh, sure, yeah. How are you? Fine. I'm not really comfortable waiting on you, so I'm gonna get somebody else. No, hold on, I don't wanna, I don't wanna order. I, I wanna talk. I understand you disappeared the other night on your birthday. Oh, I'm surprised you even knew it was my birthday. Where were you? Good night. You disappeared the other night on your birthday, and you show up the next morning with a story about being stuck in an elevator at a bank that you scrub floors at. That's the truth. Well, if, if it is, you're wrong. You shouldn't be working two jobs. I don't mind. I do. You're my sister. You shouldn't have to live this way. You married a man I don't like, okay, that, that happens, but that doesn't mean I want you to suffer. Do I look like I'm suffering? Okay, you know what? You turned me down once before. I want you to take this, all right? No, no hidden agenda, no strings. I just want you to, uh, just let me make your problems go away. Okay? I don't know why Alexis invited you over here, but the doctor told her to avoid stress. You know so try what? not to be deliberately Stressing Alexis out, okay? I am more than happy to go because this wasn't my idea in the It first was mine. Place. Carly, just a minute. Ned, I need to have one last conversation with her, and you need to go because if you don't, you're going to miss your friend. Alexis, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. All right, I'll call you. Okay. Make it quick, Alexis. What do you need? A copy of Sonny's medical records. I need Sonny's medical records to complete the baby's medical history. If a problem were to come up, the doctors could study the family medical history and Sonny would never have to be involved. I would think this would work to your advantage as well. I didn't come here to help you, Alexis. I came here to say to your face that you are an ice-cold, self-righteous bitch for what you did to Sonny. 
A simple no would suffice. Now get over yourself, because I am. You never, ever hurt my husband again. You never try and play on his pain. You never so much as say his name with disrespect or so help me God, I will make sure he knows this baby is his. And I will make sure the rest of the world knows it as well. All I want are the medical records. Why do I care what you want? Alexis, you crucified Suddy. You played on his darkest fears. And you tried to make him feel guilty for loving his own family. Well, guess what? Alexis, it didn't work. Because Sonny said my love is so much stronger than your venom. He's not somewhere hating himself like you wanted. He is so happy. And you're not even an afterthought. Clearly, this is counterproductive. You go to hell, Alexis. You know what, if you weren't pregnant, I'd have clawed your eyes out for what you did to Sonny. So I'm gonna go now before I give in a temptation. I don't want your money or your approval or anything else from me, okay? I just want you to let me live my own I'm life. I'm just trying to help. Why don't you let me? What you say, the, the, the sudden outpouring of brotherly love does come with strings attached, like leaving AJ, and it's just, it's not gonna happen, okay? I love him, and he loves me, and the sooner you accept that, the better. I accept your marriage to AJ. I wish you'd have chosen differently, but you know what? I'm, I'm giving up trying to change your mind. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I just want to, you know, give you a better life, try to support you in, in any way I can. So why don't you just let me? Thanks, but we'll get by without any help from you. I'd go. The shipment was complete. Any problem, huh? It Handling was, it? It was close. Huh? We can't use that side again. That's it. Okay, the deal for Pier 24 closes tomorrow. Good. Good, that should work until we can move to Luca. No, we can't. Stopping to Luca is not going to do anything. We have to find out who's running him. Otherwise, this guy is going to use somebody else to come after us. Why use Roy in the first place? I mean, think about it. If someone wants to take your territory, there are cleaner ways to do it. Try to kill you, try to kill me disrupt your transport network why find a bartender with a grudge against you set him up to get him in your way what? as a distraction I, you he... know Roy is an obvious enemy I, I have my reasons to hate him somebody's just hoping that I that I, I get caught up in this feud over the, the pier in the warehouse that I won't see the real threat coming this guy wants more than my territory he's he, he's he's setting things up very carefully he's not in the organization there's been pressure from the other families. No dishonorable interest, no business trouble. This is something different. An enemy without a face and no motive. It's hard to fight. Sonny, DeLuca was scared after that warehouse blew up. He knows he's into something he can't handle. If we keep pushing him, he's gonna give up the guy he's working for. What if he gets killed before he talks? This guy's not gonna leave any witnesses. What do you wanna do? We wait. Let Roy get nervous. Let our real enemy get impatient. He has weaknesses. We find out what they are, and we shut them down. You won't. You've been living on the street, you understand? You seem a little upset there, Jax. Is Mr. DeLuca giving you trouble? You're one surprise after another, Roy. Making all kinds of trouble for yourself. Well, Sonny, you sound concerned. I'm touched. No, I'm just afraid that sudden a ambition has clouded your judgment. 
First you contaminate a, a coffee shipment, then you blow up my warehouse, now you got jacks all over you. You doing this on your own, or you got somebody else giving you orders behind the curtain, pulling the strings? Maybe he's working for you, Corinthos. <laughs> he's done it before. Yeah, maybe this whole mob war is just a, a smokescreen to cover up your move against me. I mean, how far are you willing to go? Well, I've been wondering the same about you, Jax. Oh, well, you can stop wondering. Because I have no reason to maintain my peace with you. It'll be a pleasure to break you once and for all. Okay, is this, a, is this where you explain again? Why you backed off before? Out of, out of, out of respect for Brenda? Stop hiding behind her memory, crocodile boy. You want me? I'm right here. Careful what you wish for. Once I'm done cleaning up this mess with DeLuca, there's no telling what I might do. Not did it really. Okay, Roy. Uh, you're getting it from all sides now. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me who's running you before it's too late? Sonny, like I've already told you countless times before, I do what I do for me. Hey. Uh, Roy's already in over his head. What? Why are we even bothering with Jax? Roy does what he's told. He's a puppet. It's a puppet. <sighs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Jax is the missing piece of the puzzle. That will lead us to the mystery man who's back in Roy. Sonny's medical record. His name, date of birth, and social security number is off of every form. There is no way anyone's going to know it's his. Carly, thank you. Don't you think for one second that I did this for you. I did it for Sonny's baby because he would want his child to have the opportunity to have a healthy life. That is why I made this happen. And you and I are done now. Unless you ever hurt my husband or anyone else that I love ever again. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, yeah. You want to eat out here? No, no, I'm gonna, I gotta go over a few things for Jason, and then I'll come home, and we'll have dinner with Michael, and, uh... Oh, that works for me. I wanna go home, sit at our table, eat a meal together as a family in our home, and just remember how lucky we are to be a family. What happened? So, uh, something upset you? No. Mean, self-righteous people upset me, okay? And then I have to remind myself that they don't matter to me at all. All right, you finish up your work with Jason and I'll get some apple turnovers for breakfast. Uh. <laughs> all right, Benny's gonna run a check on all of Jax's financial holdings to see if any overlap with Roy. Somebody set Roy up to move against me and then they set up Roy to move against Jax. The only thing Jax and I have in common is Brenda. Brenda's dead. Oh. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy. Yes. Hey. Hey, Sonny. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Just sitting here thinking about what we're gonna do tonight. You have any thoughts? No, no, I haven't thought about it. No. What are you planning? It's childish and borderline regressive, but you don't ever write to my feelings. Mm-hmm. Ah, that jerk Jacks, he took my club and he gave it to that skanky, conniving, quartermain tramp. You know what, I should just sue him. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. What? That's too much trouble. I just, I just buy you a new club. Yeah? Yeah. It's very nice of you, Sonny, and I know you would, but it's not the point. You know what? That was my club. I put my heart and my soul into it, and, and, and 
It was mine. Yeah, but upstairs. Business is business. Sometimes you can't keep what you want. Ugh, I hate it when you're logical. Okay, can you stop fussing? Excuse me. <laughs> Why don't you just take me somewhere and distract me? All right, but I gotta, I gotta, I got a meeting first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's getting worse. Uh, no, stalled. But uh, it's nothing for you to worry about because uh, I, I've added security, and uh, you and Mike are gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jason. Hey. All right, I'm gonna go. Change into something so fabulous. No name sound good? Whatever you like. Yeah, that's good. No, Roy. He insisted on a neutral site. Wanna guess where? The Oasis? Mm hmm. I could always bring him back here, whether he likes it or not. No, no, I'm gonna play it his way. This time. I got a feeling after tonight, Roy's gonna be a lot more cooperative. Something to say. It's more like show and tell, actually. Let's have a seat. What is your attraction to this place, Roy? It amuses me to see you here, Sonny. Of course, it's harder for accidents to happen in public places. I've been giving a lot of thought to the nature of, of accidents. You know, the way they just come out of nowhere. Happen to anybody? Take this guy, for instance, right here. Well, let me guess. This guy's gun accidentally went off six times while he was cleaning it. Accidental drowning. And, uh... This guy right here just... Somehow he managed to run over himself. Right? And then this guy right here, is, he slipped with his razor. And your point would be? I do my homework. Roy, these are previous business associates of, of your new boss. He has backed in the past silent partners. And Mr. Alcazar is making damn sure they stay that way. I got names, I got dates. If you want to check it out. But you're gonna find out I'm telling the truth. What's the deal with that? I mean, you're obviously not here to cover my back. What do you want? Ma'am, I'm not gonna tell you to give over. I'm not authorized to be here. How many times do I have to tell you I am friends with the guy now? Oh, okay. We are leaving oh, now. She's what is all the noise? We found this young lady loitering where Mr. Morgan usually parks his bike. She claims to be a close friend. We tried to check on her story, but Mr. Morgan isn't home. Hmm, okay. I can vouch for the little missy. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Jason had to go somewhere, but you're more than welcome to wait for him here. Thank you. Sure. You know, um... Stalking, Jason, these days? Oh, you must be having one of your little memory lapses, because I'm not that pathetic. Oh, uh, yet here you stand, and Jason's keeping you at a distance, and you can't stand it, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to share a little tidbit of information with you, not because I care whether you get with Jason, but for some ungodly reason, he likes you, and I want him to be happy. Go ahead, Carla. You can say whatever you want. Doesn't mean I have to listen. It's fair enough. Okay, but if you are going to insist on being the little gangster's woman... 
um, you really need to learn some rules. First of all, when the guy in question tells you to do something, you do it, especially if it's dangerous and he tells you to keep your nose out of his business because if you don't, it's only going to complicate things. Hey, well, Jason didn't tell me to do anything. I just came by to see him. Oh. Well, Jason's going to see you when he wants to. You push him too far, and he's going to cut you off. It's going to feel like you got whiplash. Oh. Or maybe you already think that that's happened. Thank you, but I really don't need your advice. Jason and I are doing just fine without it. Oh God, you're so green. I'll give you a month. Until... Until you get yourself or Jason killed. Doesn't make any sense, Roy. Aquazar uses you to bring me down, then Jax. He's an arms dealer. There's no connection. Is there? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, gents, it's star time. The lady you've all been waiting for. The pick of the oasis. Daisy. This is not a guess. Alcazar is trying to make this personal. And I want to know why. Carly, you know what? I have definitely heard enough. Well, you're gonna find out what I said is true. But at least you've already been shot and kidnapped, so you're not totally unprepared. And the good news in all this is that you still get Jason. That is if he still wants you. But you know what? You better decide if you want the whole package, because there is no separating the two. You know what? Save it for someone naive enough to listen to you. Well, don't say I never tried to help you. What the hell you think you're doing messing with my life? There's something you know you're not saying, Roy. Why don't you just tell me? I'll tell you this much. It is personal with Alcazar. It's, uh, it's about as personal as it gets. Can you be more specific? I don't do freebies anymore. You want information that's going to cost you. Building permits, union cooperation, that kind of thing. I'll put together a list. You don't get it, Roy. I'm not asking you for a favor. I'm giving you a chance to survive. Mm -hmm. I'll be in touch. Enjoy the show. You know what, Jason? It, it, it's an important question. And it deserves an answer. I actually have excellent reasons for messing in your life. Oh, just one second. Excuse me. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? You, are you trying to be funny? No, I was just checking to see if um, Elizabeth snuck back up on the uh, elevator. Stay out of this. <laughs> She's stalking you, Jason. You know it's true. Leave Elizabeth alone. Oh, you don't believe me? All right, ask one of the security guards, those two new ones, because they found her lurking around in the parking garage where you park your motorcycle, and they practically hauled her up here and shoved her in my face. Did they harass her? Jason, get a grip, okay? She was lurking around in the parking lot, praying that you'd show up. It's pathetic. Well, see, Elizabeth sees things a little differently than Carly does. Oh, yeah, you're right. She's just a fool. I'm just a little irritating. You're right about the last part. Jason, come on. Elizabeth cannot figure out how she should feel about you. 
Dad, for, for one, one hand, you're like the, I don't know, the greatest thing she's ever seen. You're, you're dangerous and you're wild and you're complete hot. Will you stop? See, come on. Elizabeth, she doesn't know what to do. She can't take her eyes off of you. I mean, okay. She gets close enough to you, but she can't touch. It's like she can't follow through if she has the chance because you're too intense, Jason. You're too fearless and, and fabulous. And <laughs> Come on, Jason. You know it's true. I mean, you really should bail, and there's something that just keeps you there. is isn't like that. No? Well, how is it then? doesn't matter. No, come on. Sure it does. Tell me. Okay, will you promise to stay out of my life? No. Tell me anyway. How I feel about Elizabeth? None of your business. Oh. Okay. You've got it bad. happened so I got one at a place like this what are you doing here anyway what are you following me around what did AJ do nothing AJ has to be the reason why you're doing this right why do you blame him for everything what did AJ do AJ doesn't even know about this job he can never find out never what happened I don't... doesn't matter how I feel I can't get involved with anyone why not it isn't fair. Oh, so everyone gets to be happy but you. I didn't say that. Look, Sonny and I are finally solid. Why should you be alone? Because my life is too dangerous, Carly. Oh, and Sonny's isn't. Elizabeth won't accept danger. She pretends it's a game. Okay, then you need to find yourself a real woman. I'm not available. Jason, what is it with you and these, these wimpy little saccharine girls? Will you girls? please not start? Please. What? You want little Miss Perfect? Go for it, okay? But get her out of your system. Get her out of the garage. I don't want to talk least, about okay? this, Carly. Oh, not that Elizabeth could ever appreciate you the way a real woman could. God, what a waste. <sighs> well, I guess it's better for you to be with Elizabeth than me. Then, I don't want to be with you not the point. Then why are we having this discussion? Jason, it's not the point, okay? The point is I'm happy now. You're, you are my best friend, and I want you to be happy, too. And, and... All right, I'm willing to share you. Even if it means I have to share you with a wannabe artist who follows you around like a little puppy dog. It's very grown-up of me, isn't it? You know... Uh, Elizabeth. And, and... What makes you think that you're not what's best? Um, I got her kidnapped, for one thing. She doesn't seem to hold it against you. Come on, Jason, whatever happened to letting people make their own choices? Staying away from Elizabeth is my choice. Okay, so you can look me in the eye and you can swear to me. Look me in the eye. Swear to me, come on, that you positively, categorically do not want to be with the little twit. Concentrate on your own life and forget about Elizabeth. I can't, Jason. She's gonna get you killed. I doubt that. Jason, you just said that she treats this like a game. Okay, fine. You know what? Elizabeth wants to be with you. You, you should just be with her. You know? Let her see if she can live your life. Let her worry about you. Let her, her 
worry and see if you don't come home shot. Be relieved when you don't. Let her see if she can live your life and see if she can deal with it or not. I already know she can't. Why, did you tell her? Yeah, I did. And then you kissed her and you walked away? I know you, Jason. I know you better than yourself. Come on, you want to be with her? Take her. Have some fun if, if it's possible. I want you to stay out of this, Carly. Come on, you know what? I will, I will even... I'll help her out. I'll give her some pointers. Not about sex, though, because she's on her own. I'll do it. Jeez, she probably needs it. Oh, God, you know, I don't even want to think about that. Well, good. Then don't. Please. Oh, God, I can't think about anything else now. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, change the subject. Um, okay, let's see. I think I'm going to ask her to paint you. Ew? No, it'd be kind of interesting. Okay, double we'll ew. Have your picture ew. up there, the fireplace, and okay, you can just okay, like look okay, at yourself all day Okay, 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 okay. I'll be nice to her. I will be nice to her. I, I, I won't even. I, I will. I, I'll teach her something. Don't about teach her, her life. anything. I won't call her a twit, not to her face at least. All I want is to protect her. All I want is to protect you too, Jason. Maybe this time I can. He goes to prison. I'm aware of that. Coleman agreed not to report the accident, and he gave me a chance to pay for the damages. By stripping? AJ can't find out about this. He can't ever. It would kill him. But he'd start drinking again. So this is where you were the other night on your birthday? It's only temporary until I can pay for the damages. This is not good. None of this. AJ told me that you used to own a strip club. Yeah, that's right, I did. So, so I know what happens in places like this, what it does to women. Who worked there? I can deal. You can't, you can't change the look in your eye. I know that look, Courtney. You hate every second of this. Men grabbing you. When, the, 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 when they slip money. Huh? The only thing this place is going to bring you is pain. I can take it. Yeah, for a little while, right? And then one night you, you have a couple of drinks, take the edge off. Oh, maybe, maybe a couple of pills. It's uh, not like can't. that. A lot of women can do this for a long time. They like the money. They have mortgages. They have, you know, they have kids. They need money to uh, for drugs. I am not on drugs. I'm not right? saying that you are or that you ever will be. Or I'm not saying that these women are wrong. What I'm saying is there is nothing here for you. This place will kill you a little bit every night. And I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about inside. It leaves you cold. You disappear. I'm out of here as soon as I pay off my debt. How much does AJ owe this man? A lot. But my debt's almost paid. I make good money. I make more tips than anyone, and then I give Coleman a share. Why do you think Coleman's gonna let you go? Because we have a deal. All right, you know, let me take care of this. I will promise you that you will never step foot on that stage again. Like, I believe you for a second. If I walk out of this club with you, AJ will be in jail first thing in the morning. Not necessarily. That's supposed to make me trust you? Not necessarily? You hate AJ. Maybe you have good reasons, maybe you don't. I don't care. I will not let you hurt him. We can work something out, is what I'm saying. Like what? My husband stays out of jail if I leave him? Sounds like one of your deals. You don't have to put yourself through this. You tried to throw AJ off a balcony right in front of me, Sonny. You stole his child. You hunted him down like some kind of animal to keep him from marrying me. But you know what? It didn't work. I love AJ Quarterman, and I will do anything to keep him out of jail. Anything to protect him from you. You love a man who gives you this kind of life? God, I wouldn't expect you to understand. And for all I know, you're going to go after him tonight. But I will tell you this. You destroy my husband. You destroy me. You will not be my brother. You'll be nothing to me. I am trying to help you. I can take care of myself. AJ's not worth it. He is to me. You're my family. I mean, it's, my, it's my responsibility to look, to look after AJ you. AJ is my family too, every bit as much as you are. <sighs> you do bad things to keep your family together, right? You make sacrifices that hurt, so why can't I? <sighs> so what do you have that son? Most of the women in this club don't have a choice. You do. I want you to take it. You want me to trust you again? I want you to stay out of this. 
I want you to leave here now and I don't want you to come back. Don't bother AJ and do not mess up my deal with the club owner. Okay, you know what, Courtney? I understand pride and I understand making choices and having to deal with the consequences, good or bad. You, you married AJ and now you want to stand by him even though he's made mistakes, but you're willing to break your own heart to protect oh, God, him. That's just what, blame AJ all you want. Would you, let, you just let me, would you let me finish? I could end this tonight, but I won't. I'm going to do what you want. I'm going to stay out of it, but I, I, I want something from you in exchange for my silence. You're blackmailing me. <laughs> I want you to think about what's happened to you since you came. Poor Charles. I, I want you to think about what you've done because you wanted to. And I want you to think about what you've done because of me to show me, you know, that I'm wrong, to prove a point. Nothing that I've done is about you. I do not live my life to please the almighty son in Corinthos. You don't have to stay where you're unhappy because you can't admit you're wrong. I wasn't. AJ just made one mistake. I'm fixing it and we're going to be happy. <sighs> Poor kid. Don't act like you're sorry for me. Okay, you know what? When the debt is paid up and you want to quit and Coleman doesn't let you, I want you to tell him that you're my sister and uh, the arrangement that's happening here is a sign of disrespect and, and, and the only reason I tolerated it was because you asked me to. But my patience is at an end. you got, I can see why you have a man on the side, okay? But Sonny Corinthos, you might have mentioned it, you know? Sonny and I aren't like that. Fine. Okay, well, whatever arrangements you guys have, you have. Should I plan for my club to burn down tonight? Sonny's not coming back, okay? He's not gonna bother you. Then we're still on? Deal's the deal. I feel like there's more to this then. Huh? My makeup's a mess. <sighs> Alright, you know what? You've heard enough for one night. I'm going home. Are you sure? Yeah. I will um, see you tomorrow. Thanks. is for you to leave this alone. Jason, you are a sitting duck when it comes to these goody-goody types. Look, I saw the damage that Robin did, and I don't... I don't want to ever see you hurt like that again. Sonny! Okay, what happened? What happened? Courtney's working as a stripper. What? AJ got drunk one night, crashed his car into a strip joint, and uh, Courtney's paying off damages by working there. Courtney is taking off her clothes so she can cover for that weasel? Uh -huh. What do you want to do? She asked me to stay out of it. Doesn't she realize that you, you, you could take care of this for her? Okay, do me a favor, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to, uh, I want you to watch over Courtney whenever she's working at the Oasis. Done. All right, I, 
Make sure she doesn't see you, and, I, and don't jump in unless something happens. Other than that, just report back to me. You know we could end this tonight. Yeah, but if I interfere, I lose my sister forever. Hey, where's your jacket? I left it at the club. I, you know, I saw her dancing. I was kind of lost her okay, a little bit. Okay, you know what? She, she, she's gonna get through this, okay? She's gonna find a way. Yeah. She doesn't trust me to help her. You know what? You just sent Jason to guard her. Okay, so now you know she's safe and you just you need to let Courtney take care of the rest. It's up to her. She still does not see what AJ is. I don't get it. I mean, what, what do we, what do okay, I have to do? You know what? You, I mean, you, you need to stop telling her. You need to leave it alone and stop telling her what to do and she... Look, she will come around. And one day she's, she's gonna have to choose, she's gonna choose you. Yeah? Yeah. And you know this how? Because you were a good man, Sonny. And that's why I married you. All three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you. Ah. Orderly. Here you go. Keep the change. Um, would you like help getting your bags to the car? Um, you know what? I, I, I think we got it. The car's just right up front. Thanks. Carly? Carly? Carly, I need you to give a message to Jason immediately. By the time I got to the Oasis last night, mm -hmm. Courtney was already gone. So I checked. She works tonight, 10 to 2. I'll be there to make sure nothing happens to her. And try to stay out of her sight, but be ready. If anybody lays their hand on Courtney, I, I want you to jump in, but, you know... I don't want you to do anything crazy. Just do what you gotta do to I take care of the situation. Crazy. I don't want her any more hurt or humiliated than the situation demands. You get what I'm saying? Get out of my way. Sonny, I'm here. Now he knows. What do you want? I found this in the closet of my apartment. Taylor made very nice. I was going to trash it, but I decided to be civilized. I'm going to say this politely. You're not welcome in my home. I don't care if Courtney's your sister. You stay away. I have been leaving messages all over for Jason, and he hasn't called me back. I have something very important to tell him. Will you please call him for me? Hey, you, Letitia, will you please take um, Michael to the car? Thanks. I'll, I'll meet you guys out there, okay? Uh, well, okay. Okay. Listen, if uh, Jason isn't returning your calls, then there's probably a reason no, for this. No, this isn't about me. This, It's about business. <sighs> Has someone threatened you? No. Okay, then, then, then listen to Jason, do what he asks, and stay away, okay? The last thing he needs is for you distracting him right now. Do you really think I'd be asking for your advice if this was about romance? Listen, I know something that could possibly save Jason's life. I gave you a chance to prove you gave a damn about your sister. Proof to you? Is that what you're talking about? I came to you when she was missing. I call it a test and you failed. <laughs> I mean, you didn't care whether she was hurt right. or kidnapped. All you wanted to do was rip into me, Sonny. You know what your problem is? You what? don't know how to compromise. I don't know how to compromise. Right. I don't need to compromise. Because you're going to hide behind my sister as long as she's fool enough Hello. to stay. Hey, um, I'm at Kelly's. I'm picking up dinner. And um, Elizabeth asked me to call you. Said that um, she needs to speak to you and see you in person right away. Or the world as we know it's going to come to an end. She said that um, she's been trying to reach you since yesterday. And you haven't returned her calls. It's about business. But why? Because she's she there every day. And no, nope, she just left, and uh, she said she was going to check your spot. You would know what that means, and that you a, should meet up there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's just if, if you see her, tell her I get there as soon as I can. <laughs> you just wait for is that what AJ you want? to leave. What? What is AJ doing in the penthouse? Um, Penny, I, I have a family emergency. Do you think that you could cover the rest of my shift? Sure. My wife has this amazing ability mm -hmm. to look past the facade to see the person underneath. I think what you're trying to say, AJ, is she's naive enough to believe all the lies you keep telling her. Courtney is married to me, not because I tricked her, but because I love her. Now, I chose her over my own family. She chose me over you. Deal with it. 
I love her. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me, Sonny. And I want you to stay away from her because I don't want one of your enemies deciding that, that Courtney's a great way to get at you. Or I don't want one of your enemies targeting you but hitting her. You are not worth the pain and humiliation she's putting herself through on your behalf. Somebody, you know, somebody needs to fix that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, right on cue. The threats. Yeah, this isn't a surprise coming from you. You want a surprise? You want a surprise? I'm not surprise. afraid you of you. Surprise? I'm not afraid, okay? Your sister doesn't need you. Just stay away from her. Okay. That's all. Well, maybe no, I should no, tell no, you. No, 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 no. Sonny, Wait. no. That's it. AJ, your time is up. Get out. You too. Jason, you keep your distance. Both of you. I'm warning you. You stay